I'm sorry. I truly am. We had no other place to go, and... I would never leave a wounded man out on the street. <sighs> Elmira, I know what you said, but you have to let us go after Aerith. Not this again. We found an underground Shinra lab, where they've done human testing. This wasn't the first time, and it won't be the last. I know these people, and I know they're never gonna let Aerith go. She's the last living ancient on the planet. Think about what that means to Shinra scientists. Especially to that son of a bitch, Hojo. We're all just numbers and meat to him. But... Please. I need some time to think. You've all had a long day. Why don't you go upstairs and get some rest? Can't sleep? No. You too? I heard footsteps. Sorry. Didn't mean to wake you. I'm a light sleeper. It's a soldier thing. <laughs> that flower you gave me the other night? That was from Aerith, wasn't it? I knew there was something weird going on. You buying flowers? They symbolize reunion, believe it or not. I was curious, so I looked it up. I tried to keep it alive as long as I could. But now, it's dead and buried. <sighs> like the bar. Our home, and everything else. <laughs> they took everything from us, again. That's not true. Thank you. You've done more for us than we deserve. I won't forget this. If you ever need anything, all you gotta do is holler. Happy to help out, however I can. <sighs> Elmira. I've been thinking about what you said. She's calling out to me. I can feel it. We all can. So please. She's our friend. We have to help her. I 
always knew it was coming. Knew that one day, I'd have to say goodbye to my baby girl. But not yet. <clears throat> Please, bring her back to me. Hmm. Daddy! <gasps> Marlene. Are you going? I'm sorry, honey. I wish I didn't have to. I wish I could be with you all the time. I really do. But if I stay here, I can't fight out there. Hmm? <clears throat> Some bad people are trying to hurt the planet. And Daddy, Daddy and his friends are trying to stop those bad people. The slums, your friends, the whole planet. It's Daddy's job to protect it. Hmm? <sighs> and that's why I've got to go. You remember that nice girl who came to find you? Well, now we have to go find her. And when we bring her home, you need to say thank you, okay? Okay. That girl, she was kind of... <sighs> what? Nothing. You should help her. We will. <sighs> You'll come back, right? Of course, I promise. Okay, you can go. Barrett. <laughs> She's tougher than me. Alright, time to get some payback. Don't forget why we're doing this. I know, I know, to rescue Aerith. So after bombing reactors one and five, what do the eco-terrorists do? They go for the trifecta and take out Mako Reactor 7. Another attack by amateurs who don't care about collateral damage. The sky is falling and Avalanche is to blame. But wait, did you know Wutai is the one funding their activities? for all their claims about fighting for the slums. They're nothing more than pawns of Wutai, puppets dancing to the tune of their foreign masters. And that's the truth. Topside news delivered straight to your ears. That'll be five gil, five gil, come on. Damn, man, knew we couldn't trust Wutai to leave us alone. It's the reactors. They want them, we got them. Uh, Does this mean there'll what? be another war? After what they've done, what choice do we have? Five gil apiece, cough it up. The truth ain't free, you know. <sighs> we ain't no damn pawns of Wu-Tai. I couldn't care less about the rest, but that shit? <clears throat> no one will listen to us. There's no point in even trying. I'm sorry. Hey. Hey, Tifa, listen. There's no room in this for regrets or what-ifs or any of that. All we can do is keep moving forward, keep following this path we chose. Wherever, so we can say we did all we could. I know. But right now, instead of looking forward, you need to look around. Everyone here is terrified. So I'm asking you, don't. <laughs> Long time no see. What brings you back here? 
Well, we need to find a way to get topside as quickly as possible. And we figured Corneo ought to know one. Is that so? In that case, I can help. You serious? Then tell us! Follow me. Let's just hear him out. <clears throat> so, what's the deal with the hole? Unfinished business. If you three give me a hand with it, I'll give you what you need to get topside. You want us to go back into the sewers with you? What's down there? Corneo's hidey hole. That's where I'm headed. You're not gonna try to screw us over, are you? If that's what you think, walk away. I'll find somebody else to work with. And you'll have to find another way to get topside. <sighs> All right. We're in. Say what? He betrays us. He dies. Fine by me. He means it. I'll tell you more after we've climbed down. When you're good to go, let me know. Okay, follow me. Seriously, what's the deal with the hole? It's a trap for the Don's enemies. What? No one's ever gotten out alive. Well. Until recently, that is. <sighs> you are gonna hold up your end of the bargain, right? Long as you hold up yours, yeah. I don't trust you and I don't like you. So if you so much as breathe in a suspicious way, I'll turn that face of yours into a honeycomb. I'd save your bullets for the monsters if I were you. Some are a lot tougher than you'd think. Hate to say it, but I can barely take them on my own. You, on the other hand, shouldn't have any trouble, am I right? Let's get this over with. Hey, wasn't this locked before? No time to shine. Clear the path ahead, would you? Yeah, yeah. Can I ask you something? Why did you help us out before? You could have lost everything. Andrea, you told me to. That really it? And I couldn't bring myself to let it happen again. Huh? It doesn't matter. Let's go. This it? Yeah. So how are we supposed to get topside? Through here. Then you're telling me we're not done? Sorry guys, but it's not that simple. <laughs> no! Wait! We gotta catch him! Huh? He took the key to the door! Without it, we're screwed! Let's go. Give it back! That's... Give it back. That's not a key. Sorry. That's not your pendant either. Were they family? No. It was all just a dream, wasn't it? 
One day? No. Time to wake up and forget. Six months ago. On that day, Corneo picked her as a bride, and on the next, she vanished without a trace. But before she did, she gave it back. Salt on the wound. The thing cost me a small fortune. Why did you want to come down here? Revenge. I know I need to let go, but I can't. I need closure, because without it, I'll never be able to move on. It's fine. As long as you get us topside, we're still in. Thanks. And don't worry. I got you. <sighs> you all right. I know a shortcut. Follow me. It's Leslie! Got some urgent info for the Don! Come alone? Of course. Really? Without my little avalanche kittens? I thought I told you to round them up and bring them to me. Actually, it's them I came to talk about. Hmm. Uh. I don't think I need to remind you why I'm down here. Spilling the beans to those three escape artists was a serious mistake. Now I'm on Shinra's shit list. The plate stunt was meant to be an unprecedented tragedy, claiming countless innocent lives. But those naughty little kittens organized an evacuation and screwed up the plan. I'll let you in on a secret. Shinra is going to abandon Midgar and build something close to paradise. I was invited to be a part of it. Dawn of a new and improved wall market! I'll be lucky to live another week. <sighs> Leslie. I was gonna let you run your own place. Give you a piece of the action. What a shame. Pop quiz time, kiddo! Villains like us only divulge our evil plans in a certain situation. But what is that situation, hmm? When you think you've already won. <laughs> Goodbye. Think again, Don. Huh? It's you. You were talking about the Sector 7 plan. Keep talking, asshole. Ah! Over there! Over there, look! Don't try to bullshit us. But that's the thing. It's not technically bullshit when it's true. Uh. <laughs> 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 Feel free to play with your food. Gone out. Bastard! <laughs> First hand personal. <laughs> You okay? Where's Corneo? Sorry. Bastard got away. Uh, it's fine. 
I'll track him down eventually. Not like I have anything better to do. You know, I wouldn't be so sure about that. <sighs> she could still be out there. Can never be sure how much someone means to you till they're gone. Don't give up on her yet. Was it a message? What was she trying to tell me? We'll meet again. Huh? It's a symbol of reunion. <laughs> then I guess I've got no choice but to find her first. <laughs> Thanks. Hold up. I think you might be forgetting something. I haven't. Found it. Let's get out of here. And then I'll give you what you need. Ah. Taste that sweet Midgar small. <laughs> This way. <sighs> Grappling guns. You can practically fly with the souped up motors on these babies. Sector seven is on the other side of that wall. The guns will get you over and past it, along with any number of other obstacles. But, they're one-way tickets. So once you start up, there's no coming back. You should probably get your affairs in order, just in case. Thank you. Didn't tell you before, but we're looking for someone, too. That right. Hope you find it. You too. <laughs> Let's go. So, when this is over, you gonna go on being a merc? That's the plan. Reckon it suits you? Yeah, it does. Used to think you were a little shit with a big attitude and a bigger inferiority complex. Quite possibly the worst person I have ever met. But that was before I figured you out. All this, it ain't you. Deep down, you're a pretty nice guy. Didn't see it when we were kids, but... Don't know about any of that. But kindness is no use on the battlefield. If anything, it's a liability. Hey, no one's asking you to treat Shinra with kid gloves. <sighs> Aerith's up there waiting for us. Then we better get a move on, huh? Ready? <laughs> 